604 on Daybreak and in health news this morning, millions of people develop a hernia at some point in their life. And doctors are finding more and more that it's just as likely for a woman to develop a hernia as a man. And now state of the art technology is being used here in Buffalo to treat them. Yeah, Daybreak Stephanie Barnes is live outside of Sisters Hospital this morning where she spoke with one of the specialists using that state of the art technology. Stephanie, good morning. Yeah, Pete, Melissa, good morning. The idea that men get hernias more often than women is just not correct. In fact, I did talk to a, a doctor here at Sisters Hospital who says it's pretty much equal for men and women. But the concern is that if that goes undiagnosed and untreated, especially for women that might not expect to get hernias, it can become life threatening. Now, a hernia is an abnormal opening in the body wall where an organ or some other kind of tissue can actually pop out. So we're talking internal organs and intestines they can bulge right through that hole. It can be painful. It can just be uncomfortable, but if left untreated, it can also be fatal. Joanne, a patient at Sisters here, developed a hernia following gastric bypass surgery and several other procedures. She says she wasn't expecting to get a hernia and came to Sisters Hospital for help. I was surprised and I, I was just hoping, I hope this doesn't happen constantly, especially with having all the other surgeries and the gastric bypass. Um, I just thought I hope I, I don't have this all the time. So I was surprised though versus a male. You know, usually they're lifting a lot more weights and lifting heavier objects and stuff. Now, Dr. Bala, Joanne's doctor at Sisters, has started using that robot to perform surgery on hernias. So instead of the traditional open surgery, he maneuvers a robot to make a keyhole incision and use robotic arms to actually close up the hernia. He says not only is it a fast surgery with minimal cuts, but that also means a shorter hospital stay, quicker recovery, less pain, and by association, less pain medication. As far as Joanne's case goes, I did just talk to her last week. It was about a month away from her actual surgery and she was already back to normal. She said walking fine, moving fine, lifting things fine. So that robotic surgery did work for her. Now, as far as what you should do, Dr. Bala says, if you think you have a hernia or maybe suspect you have a hernia, just head to your primary care doctor or a specialist and they can help you out. He says that uh, hernias do affect really anybody and can affect any body, any body type as well. It's a live report here outside of Sisters Hospital. I'm Stephanie Barnes. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you very much, Stephanie.